What is up, Planeswalkers? Derek Six back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. And today we're going to be hopping into White Black Angels. Now, we do have a patron video. However, uh, I wanted to make sure I did that uh, deck list justice before I ended up playing it. So tomorrow's video will be um, the patron video for uh, an interesting take on uh, pirates that includes Nicobolus because Nicobolus is awesome. Um, the day after that will be a Jun Sacrifice, and following that will be an enchantment-focused Muldrata deck. So let's jump into... White Black Angels, which is essentially just Mono White Angels with Splashing Black for some some good removal as well as Knight of Malice. Um, as you can see, I'm now out of Mythics. <laughs> this this deck costs so many Mythics, and I had to double check all of my other viewer requests to make sure there weren't a ton of Mythics that I needed to craft. Luckily, most of those decks need rares. I have a decent number of rares, so that should be fine. But holy crap, does this deck eat up Mythics? So let's just start at the top. We have two Fatal Push because Fatal Push is a Strong removal. You're going to hear me say that a lot in this deck deck. Uh, four Knight of Grace as well as four Knight of Malice. Um, these cards body decks like really easily. The uh, the two power first strike is fantastic by itself. Um, having three power first strike or if you have multiple out, um, four or six is just backbreaking for a lot of decks. Even the, the kind of green big uh, aggressive decks, um, this card is easily able to just win in combat. Two seal aways, uh, it's good removal. <laughs> two cast downs, fun fact, good removal. Three Renewed Faith. Now, you might be saying, Renewed Faith, you're not supposed to run, like, Singleton Life Gain cards. You're right, except we have value from it. Also, it is helpful uh, against some decks just being able to stabilize um, by getting six more life if you do have, like, an okay board presence. Um, getting that six life puts you out of things like Burn Range or uh, um, a random, like, Hasty Flyer that you might not be able to deal with. Um, so, uh, that is nice. Also, if you don't need the life um, or you're, like, you need more gas you can always just cycle this for uh two mana to get and it also gains you two life incidentally so i think i think the card is actually pretty good three resplendent angels probably should be four didn't have the mythics for it my bad uh it's a three mana three three flyer not awesome stats um because of just like how many like insane other three drops are in this format but at the beginning of each end step if you gain five or more life this turn create a four four white angel token with flying and life link there aren't a ton of ways to actually get this to go online the main ones are Renewed Faith as well as uh, Lyra. Um, j there weren't enough good lifelink cards that I that I found that would give me five life um, in a single turn. Um, I do have some incidental life gain, um, but mostly this is going to be triggered off of Renewed Faith and Lyra, which I think is fine. Like, the card is good enough by itself. And also, against Control, you are able to just uh, pump it up with six mana to, to get five lifelink worth of dude. Um, and you know it's very similar to... Um, walking ballista in that regard and that you don't need to deploy other threats you can use your mana um and have your opponents use their cards so um it, it's a it's a great card um i'm actually fine crafting it um even if there wasn't going to be a wipe soon um i assume that this card will probably be fine uh during ravnica standard one a johnny this probably should be like two or three um this Johnny is actually just like really good in a creature deck um if you can put like if you go knight of grace knight of malice into a johnny right then you have two four threes with first strike real good real prime um you also do uh get a few i mean you get the knights with its minus i think that's essentially all yeah um but still being able to buy back a, a blocker if you need one is good and being able to create cat tokens with lifelink which is probably not gonna happen very frequently but if when it does you're gaining that ability to gain a lot a little bit more life to work more with resplendent angel um if you have uh these cards or the mythics to to buy them i would probably um add in some more johnny's um probably take out the angel of sanctions maybe maybe um but add them if you can two cast outs fun fact it's good removal. <laughs> um, it also, uh, you know, it has flash. It hits non-creatures, which is important. We do need something that can hit, uh, uh, you know, enchantments, artifacts, things like that. Um, and if you don't need it, cycle it. It's pretty fine. Three Shalai's. Now, Shalai is fantastic for dealing with dumb burn things, creature removal, because we do rely a lot on our creatures, um, and it can just pump our team, which is nice. Also, with Lyra, I mean, Lyra is the vamp in the stack. Uh, it, you just gain a, a ton of life. It also is a, a fine blocker, like playing it on four. Two Vrask Contempt. Um, it's a uh, good removal. It hits Planeswalkers, and it gains you a little bit of life. You're probably not going to really gain three more life randomly, unless, of course, you have some of Johnny's uh, tokens. But if you've if you've emblemed a Johnny, you probably are going to win the game anyway. Um, but it, it is nice that you can just have so much incidental life gain in the deck, uh, where you're going to be able to probably be final against a lot of the most aggressive decks. Two Angel of Sanctions. Uh, get rid of something. If they kill it, get rid of something. Uh, that, I mean... The card is helpful as removal, and it is also an angel and works with Lyra, so. 
Three, Lyra's essentially the reason we're running this deck. Resplendent Angel is good, but Lyra is essentially the reason we're running this deck. Um, First Strike, insane. Lifelink, insane. All your other angels getting bigger and lifelink is also insane. And it's just a five-minute threat. Um, we're running so many dense threats in this uh, in this deck that our opponent's going to run out of answers eventually. Um, this is good against, like, <laughs> the green decks, the green-red decks, the red decks. Um, Lyra is just a beast against so many things. Walking Ballista, it's, the card is just so good. I, I felt bad putting Walking Ballista into an Angel deck that has Knights, but it's just so good. I also, to be fair, did not have um, History of Benalia. If you have access to History of Benalia, probably put three of those in instead of the Ballistas. Um, but Ballista is, is so good that it makes a fine uh, replacement. Um, four second century should not be in this deck. Realistically, it probably should just be three uh, concealed courtyards. Um, but they're fine. Um, ten planes because the deck is mostly white. One chef of dunes just to get that extra bit of oomph. Two if near deadlands. Um, we only have these three as swamps uh, or as uh, deserts. But having having something to sack is uh, is pretty good. Um, and it it just helps against some matchups shrinking something down just enough for our first strikers to be able to deal with it. I think it's pretty good. Um, and that's about it. There's no sideboard for this because uh, I'm typically going to use viewer submissions in free play because I just think that is the, the best place to do it. So let's go with Angelic Chorus. There we go. Going up against... I have no idea. <laughs> Jiptrick. <laughs> There's only two vowels and they're right next to each other in the beginning. <laughs> I have no idea. We're going first, which is nice. Um, ooh. I'm probably going to end up needing to cycle Renewed Faith to draw a card. But I do think this hand is fine, because, like, if we get a third land, well, if it is a Plains, which it almost certainly is going to be, we can drop Resplendent, and then nothing but Lyra's. Yeah, we'll keep it. There, I think there's enough low mana cards in the deck. Like, there's a ton of two drops in this deck. Um, I think this will be fine. Even if I have to cycle Renewed Faith on, on two, I think that's probably fine. See what our opponent would like to do here. Okay, they decide to keep. Cool, cool. I will lead off with the planes. Leading off with Swamp technically puts my opponent on thinking it I might be on something else. So they're playing something blue, and we did get a good two drop, which is fantastic. Uh, we might need to cycle Renewed Faith on three now, but we do at least have something on the board. And our opponent is on blue something. Potentially mono blue storm? Nope, search first Kanta. Well, I think, I think Storm might play that. Ooh, and right on time, we are able to deploy the Resplendent Angel. Next turn, we can renew Faith, gain 6 life, get a 4-4. And, I mean, we're, we're off to the races. I mean, this is essentially what you want the deck to be doing. My I have 5 power on board, right? Put them to 13, and I have renewed Faith. It is instant, so I very well could play it on their turn, just so that uh, they're forced to use things on their turn. Um, unfortunately, I don't have, like, a 4-drop to go with it, but... All right, so it, it does look like they're on some sort of mono-white strategy. Um, we are, we did get a land, which is nice. I said mono-white, didn't I? Mono-blue strategy. Um, doing it this way also, um, if they, like, enter the royal, my resplendent, I can just play it again, so. Notably, if I play Lyra next turn, I won't, uh, I won't be gaining five life, unfortunately. I'll only be gaining four. But, I mean, my opponent's at 13. End of their turn. Um, I'm going to cast Renewed Faith. Probably gain a 4-4 out of it. See what they would like to do with their search. At last turn, I, they put it in their hand. There's nothing there. Um, or they kept it on top, I should say. And they kept it on top again. So whatever they're drawing, they want it. Okay, they are blue-white. They don't have double-white, so they can't settle me. So playing Renewed Faith here is good, especially if they counter it. Because... Da -da -da. Because then if I if I top deck a land, I will be able to get Lyra if they counter this. They didn't, so I do get an angel. I guess I guess theoretically they could uh, bounce it before before anything. Um, yeah, I mean a kick into the royal would be good for them here. Um, essentially it does mean I wasted my renewed faith. Wait, excuse me, what? Um Oh it was the Oh crap. I should have put a stop on their main phase. <sighs> Darn. That's unfortunate. I want them to do something before I cast Lyra. 
That's that's why I'm attacking first. Because I want to resolve Lyra. Cool. So I'm fine with that because I get Lyra down. And then next turn, I can swing. I can play this and swing. Or I can just, oh wait, Lyra's are Lyra's are legendary. <laughs> so I can play Resplendent Angel and swing. Okay, tap land from my opponent. Still can't settle me. Cast out, sure. I can just play another Lyra. And I mean, if they're going to be answering my Lyra's every turn, then they're going to be whittled down by my Tutu. It's, it's unfortunate that I made that dumb play. I could have had uh, another 4-4 and my opponent would be like at 1 now or something. Um, very, very unfortunate that I didn't put a stop on their main phase. Um, definitely be aware of that. It, it's good that I it's good that I did that so that you don't have to. Opponent is on 6 mana, so they are able to do something good here. They can settle me, which is important. But then I can just cast another Lyra. Fumigate? Okay, Fumigate is good for them. Gonna gain 2, go back, back up to 11, and I will just cast another Lyra because I can. Um... Yeah, I'll cast Lyra here, and then next turn I can uh, Knight of Glory, or Knight of Grace, and uh, Archangel, or Resplendent Angel. I always, I think this is Resplendent Archangel for, for some reason. I always try and type that in on Scryfall. That's just what I keep trying to make it. Okay, so let's see what my opponent is doing here. Four. Four mana for another cast out? Sure. I will play Resplendent Angel first. Yeah, this way, if they have Syncopate, like, if they have, um, if they have Supreme Will, um, I'm not going to be able to pay for it if I play it first or second. Um, but if they have exactly Syncopate, I'll be able to play, pay for it. Um, I do want this to resolve a little bit more than Knight of Grace, but I think it's fine doing this first. I, th I think it plays around more things technically. Um, and that's fine. Disallow was going to probably counter this anyway, because they knew I had Knight of Grace. Um, and I can just get Knight of Grace down. Opponent is only on two cards. If they do resolve it's a Fairy, hopefully I can Rask is Contempt it. And if I can't, I will at least be able to attack it. Okay, so they went for the approach. That is unfortunate. Because I don't have a ton on board. But I will get this for three. It's, it's very unfortunate. I think I think that misplay uh, early on in the game uh, might have lost me this game. Because um, now they can start just dumping things with search. Um, and they can use search. So yeah, this is pretty bad. Dang. Um, I, I do think that that uh, misplay killed me. Um, so pay attention to that. <laughs> make sure you don't make that the same mistake I did. I mean, it's a fun deck. It's been a fun deck. Um, that's like the first time that it's happened. Because that's the first time I've played against Control with this deck. Yep, they just had it in their hand. They didn't even have to... Look, see, that's still there. They just had it, so... <sighs> that's unfortunate, but... That's uh, that's approach for you. They, they do nothing... Until approach... I mean, they, they did stuff. They answered my threats, but... Sure, sure, that's fine. Let's jump into another game. The deck the deck is definitely fun. It's definitely strong. Um, I, I'm fairly certain we're going with Nian... Um, I definitely would have won that game if my uh, my dumb brain didn't decide to not put a stop on their second main phase. Um, I was potentially trying to be too cutesy, but um, this is a fine hand. We can lead off with Chapel into Grace. Hopefully we'll draw... I mean, hopefully we'll draw another card, but we do have uh, some removal spell if our opponent's uh, not on control. If my opponent's on control, this is not a great hand unless we can get a third land and a fourth land. Um, if we can get a fourth land, it'll be fantastic. So let's go ahead and play this. Opponent might have something on one, but we wouldn't have been able to get rid of it anyway. Okay, so they're playing green. Land of War Elves here, I assume. Maybe the uh, the sorcery sp spell. Oh, Renegade Map. What the heck? Okay. So we will just go in on Knight of Grace. Um, I can just play Ballista next turn if need be. I hopefully need won't be. Any untapped land next turn will be good, because I can just pay one life if I need to. Ah, Constrictor. Okay, it's Constrictor deck. Sure, sure. This is now 3-2, though. Um, okay. Um, so, so here I have to make the choice. So I'm going to attack first. My opponent, like, there's no way my opponent blocks, uh, unless they don't understand what first strike is, um, which they, they might 
my block. Um, but I assume they won't. Um, this, get, this gets me in three more damage. So I could either kill this Constrictor now, or just develop another Knight. And I'm very tempted to just develop another Knight. Hmm... No, I, I think it, I think it's correct to get rid of Constrictor. Um, this is like the namesake of the deck. Um, there's plenty of cards that get value off of it. I think it is better for me just to just to get rid of it now, especially since um, this this type of deck might be running Blossoming Sands or Blossoming Shield, whatever it is. Um, blossoming Defense, you dumb dumb. Um, and I, I don't know when I'd be able to to respond to it again. So I, I think I think it was correct to, to remove it. Deshaun, sure sure. Let's see what that one is going to get here. Jade Light, sure, sure. Fantastic here. Um, hmm. I do think I just put Resplendent out. Cause I can I can like play Ballista and like, get in for two. Like I threaten I threaten killing this. The uh, they don't have two green out, which is important to note, um, but I think I would rather just get out Resplendent. They currently don't have uh, anything that can block it, so I think this is I think this is the correct the correct move. It's, it's the most mana efficient, um, and it's probably the strongest, so. Cool, cool. And turn. Possibly deciding to crack Renegade Map end of turn? Or get rid of their Jade Light? Nope. So, if they don't have a forest here, they're gonna crack it. Yep, it looks like that's what they're doing. So they get a forest, play a Jade Light. They have Fatal Push-Up. And since they cracked Renegade Map, they can uh, they have Revolt on uh, on Fatal Push. So they could Fatal Push my Archangel. And that would be pretty bad. Be pretty bad, especially if we drew another land for a Johnny. What? I mean, yeah, I'm not I'm not blocking that, so. Maybe my opponent doesn't realize that uh, Revolt triggers off any permanent leaving. Maybe. Maybe they were trying to get me to block. I'm not, I'm not sure. Not sure what's going through my opponent's mind, but uh, I do assume we're going to see this Jade Light come out. Nian? Buddy? Oh, no, it looks like they're targeting my Knight of Grace. No, okay. That was, that was strange. Yeah, I don't know. Sure, let's let's see what this is. So I'm probably going to end up casting that down. I assume they're keeping that on top. I guess I actually don't need to cast that down. Fantastic. So I can just play a Johnny here. And plus these. I understand you're in need of support. Look how far you've come. So they can obviously Vraska is my Johnny, which I'm fine with. Um, now they can't really attack me. Um, so I do think I wait one more turn and force them to use the Vraskas on a Johnny. Next turn I can Knight of Grace and Cast Down. If my opponent plays something like a, a Gearhawk or something here. Um, Gearhawk here would be pretty bad. Okay. Looks like they're going to combat first. Decide not to attack. Fair. And they didn't do anything interesting. I mean, that just allows me to plus a Johnny again. See in yourself. Interesting. I see in you. Um, I have another Resplendent, although I think Knight is still probably better. Um... I do have Knight and Cast Down, so I do think I'm going to start getting in there with Resplendent. Maybe they Vrask is my Resplendent? Possibly, not sure. Um, but I can uh, Knight of Grace here and hold up um, hold up Cast Down uh, to, to get rid of something frustrating of theirs. So. Let's see if they want to use Vrask on my Knight, or on my Archangel. Or not Ar It's not an Archangel. <laughs> they also, yeah, I mean, they, they can't, the thing is they can't target Knight of Grace with Vrask, so... And it looks like they're leaving up Blossoming. Oh, they didn't. Okay. Um, sure, that's fine. That is fine. That means my Johnny's still alive. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tap this for Colorless. Because I know this... Oh, right, right, right. 
Cancel that. I forgot it does this. Okay. So I'm gonna, now I'm going to tap this. Uh, tap this. Play a Knight of Grace. And I could just cast down something now, but I think I would rather wait. They could they could have boss Ming defense. They could. But I, I would rather like bait them into playing like a, a Gearhawk onto something. Making it, you know, bigger than is feasible to block. But I do have six power worth of a uh, first strike. Long Tusk Cub, sure, don't care. Yeah, I mean, without Winding Constrictor, right, this, this deck isn't as strong. So I, I do think it was correct on my part to uh, to murder their Constrictor. They might have another Vraskas for a Johnny, which would be unfortunate, but I don't see why they wouldn't have just used it earlier. So I will I will just go ahead and kill this 3-3. Three, three. Like, as I said, the, the first strike is really powerful against uh, creature decks. So Let's see if my opponent wants to use a Blossoming Defense. Nope. Or Revoir, Shoshana. I now have Vraskas, which I will probably leave up. Unfortunately, I'm still not super excited about attacking here. I, will lend you my strength. I guess, honestly, I don't need to leave up Vraskas Contempt. I could just play Resplendent. I think Resplendent is a little bit more weak. I mean, next turn, I can, I can ultimate a Johnny, right? So, like, they kind of have to do something about it. They only have three cards in hand. Uh, if they try and if they try and murder Ballista, like I, I think Ballista is is a better play here, which is so stupid that this card is so <laughs> this card is so good. It's just better than I should have waited until after combat to be fair, but this card is better. <laughs> this card is this card is, is good. It's, it's a good card. Um, but yeah, so like I attack here with Knight of Grace. Um, if they, they they can't really use a, a black card to remove my uh, my other knight. Um, and if they do try to remove Ballista, I can just kill one of these. So, um, I'm not too worried about a Johnny being threatened here. Um, I don't think this deck plays green removal. That I guess maybe they play, like, the the kind of pseudo-fight card. Um, looks like they might be rascusing this now. That's so strange. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I got, I got so much value off of the card, though. I got what? He's... Uh, the, the... Yeah, sure. And turn, please. I want to see... So he starts at four, and he went up to seven. So I got six six counters worth of value. That's, that's fine with me. It's better than travel preparations. That only gives you, what, four counters worth of value? So... Okay, let's see what my opponent is on. I do still have a Vraskas for any nonsense. A bliss of their own is good. They can, t they can kill my 3-3 three, three knight. Hmm. I don't think there's a sequence in which I can save my 3-3 knight, unfortunately. I don't I don't think so. Ooh, cast out. Cast out's nice. Um Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. I think I'm just going to keep attacking with the 5-5. Five five. He doesn't have enough power necessarily to block well. And if he triple blocks, I can use my Ballista, which forces him to use his Ballista. So at the end of the day, I think if he triple blocked, I'd be left with a 5-5. Five five, and he'd be left with nothing, and I'd be I, these would be dead, I think. Um, I could also use these, but I think I would rather use them on something stronger. Um, because as of right now, my board is a little better. So we'll just go in on this card. I think that's fine as the only attacker. Let's see what he wants to do here. Or she. I don't know. It's Nissa. First strike damage? Sure. Going down to 11. And I'll just hold up my removal spells. If my opponent, uh, if my opponent does nothing, I very well might cycle this cast out. Um, just so I can get something else. Um, I Like land Lyra. Land into Lyra, I should say. Would be pretty good, but... Not entirely sure. Well, we'll see what the, my opponent wants to do here. Like, if, if they try to Gearhulk onto Ballista... Okay, they didn't do that. That's fine. Um, if they tried to Gearhulk onto Ballista, um, that'd be a, a good time to, to get rid of stuff. Sure, that's fine. This requires two. Sure. So I'm probably going to try and murder that. Another one. Sure. Sure. 
So I think what I'm going to do is minus this first, and then now I don't know. I, I don't know if there's a there's a situation in which it'll work to my advantage. I don't think. I think it's all about who makes the first move. Unfortunately. Opponent thinking about attacks. I'm not sure they have great ones here. My creatures are larger now. Okay, decided not to go through with it. I'll do this. I'll make my opponent use their ballista. Yeah, so they're gonna they're gonna respond to it. Yep, that is fine. Um It might blossoming that, but I can just respond to it. So they're going to respond, and then I can respond targeting them. So at the end of the day, my bliss is dead. One, At least one of these creatures will die. They might blossoming one of them. Yeah, that's what it looks like they're doing. Yep, and they decide to keep the bliss alive. That is fair. But that will die. And I'm fine with that. I do lose the power buff on my guys, but it's fine. Blister should be down to one now. Yep. Cool, cool. Another Knight of Grace is cool, I suppose. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm very tempted to just cycle this darn cast out to try and get something here. Unfortunately, they can do this. So, like, if I play Knight of Grace in order to make sure I can block both of these while still pressuring them... You know, I'll, I'll go to combat first. I want, I want to attack with this 5-5. Not as much angel value going on as, I, as I'd hoped, but. Okay, so they do just take it. They're down to six. I will just play the Knight of Grace. And then turn here. See what my opponent wants to do. They can kill that Knight of Grace at the cost of their Ballista, which I think I'd be fine with. Um, because if they try and attack with their Lion Cubs, I get a free block and they could just die on their turn? Glint Sleeve? Sure, my guys are bigger. Can still use his Ballista. Uh, importantly, they can now uh, buff this to be 3 power. but Or buff one of them, I should say. But I, can, I still have... I still have good blocks for Shrikers. Okay, doesn't want to do that. I do think I'll cycle this. I want something. That is something. And I think it just gets cast immediately. Um, he'll have to use his Ballista, which will kill my 3-2 my for sure. Then he won't be able to, so I think this is fine. I also want to tap like this. Please and thank you. It, it doesn't matter, but I just would rather have that tap like that. Because I could theoretically be holding up like Fatal Push or something. So yeah, I assume they're going to use Walking Bliss to kill my 3-2. Uh, kill my then I'll have three blockers. Possibly let Glint Sleeve through and kill the Cubs. If they decided to attack there, which I'm not sure they would. But yeah. As expected, I'm gonna kill my 3 2. Now, I could theoretically attack with both of my creatures. At least the 6 5 would need to be blocked. But it could be chump blocked, then he could attack. Well, no, I mean, it'd be chump blocked, and then he still only has a couple attackers. 
And like, sure, I'd let the two one through. But I just kill these. I think I think I want to pressure them. Yeah, I, I have blockers for the two twos. Obviously, if my opponent draws a removal spell for Shalai, it's going to be kind of bad. Um, but importantly, I'm not running green to pump the team. I thought I was running Aetherops, but apparently I'm not. Make sure you're running something that could, like an offshoot, make green, and that wouldn't wreck your mana base too much. Decided to block with the Glint Sleeve. Interesting. That's, that's very interesting. I guess they didn't want my creatures to be big, but like, could have drawn another card. I mean, one life or one card seems good. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. See what my opponent has here. If it's a Gear Hulk, I do have Raskus for it still. It's a Ballista for three, sure. Luckily for me, that uh, can't actually hit anything of mine except for Shalai, and it's not big enough. So I will Raskus that next turn. Hundo Rid for Scent. Tap these, please. I guess technically I could just Ifnir. Is doing is using Ifnir better on it? Probably. Cause then it gets reset to one and it can only pump up like one per. Hmm. It's it's probably correct to Ifnir it actually. Because as of right now, it can only hit Shalai, and it can't kill Shalai. Um, do I think I'm going to need the Chef at Dunes? I don't. It's it's unfortunate that I tap like that. I don't care about retapping it. I don't have anything I can cast right now, so it doesn't matter. So it's going to go down to one. And I can just hit in the air. I mean, there's no point in hitting that at all. You just lose your Ballista. You just... Sure. He, he has nothing... No cards in hand. He just loses his Ballista now. Yeah, that's fine. It flies. I'm just going to attack in the air for six. Or for three. Six over two turns. But... Is my opponent roping me now? Might be ripping. Just looking at their cards. That's unfortunate. <laughs> anyway, this is a very fun deck. You all should totally craft it if you're able to. Cool, they decided to continue. <sighs> it's, uh, it's more of an Angels and a Knights deck, but I wanted to make sure the deck was uh, playable. <laughs> um, if, if I just jumped straight into the Angels, uh, I don't think it would have necessarily been uh, as valuable. So, um, there was that. Uh, I'm, tr I'm gonna try to, uh, cut back. I've been making, like, a ton of super long videos recently, so I'm gonna end this one here at, uh, about half an hour, which is what it typically is meant to be. Um, anyway, once again, I want to thank Easy Mode, Chris, uh, and Daniel. Um, you guys are fantastic for supporting the channel. Um, if any of you would like to join, uh, them in supporting me, uh, feel free to check out the link in the description below. Um, that was White Black Angels. Next up, we're going to have um, a patron video for the uh, Nicobolus Pirates type deck. Followed then uh, back into the uh, viewer suggestions into John Sacrifice, um, followed by Enchantment Moldrotha. Um, hope you guys liked it. If you did, go ahead and tap that like button, add a subscription to your mana pool, and cast a comment to the comment section down below. And until next time, all will be one.